pop up from behind. Wait, but I'm going up. <laughs> you didn't say anything. Hey guys! Whoa, you made a whip noise. Hey guys, so as most of you know, Hugo, he's currently filming, and me are here in France studying abroad for a master's program, but today we have decided to make crepes on the vlog. Why? Just to kind of show you um, part of the French culture we have been acquiring. Full warning, this is our second time actually making these and it's a new recipe, so we'll see how it goes together, but I hope it's good, and if it is, try it at home. Alright guys, so to make the crepes, we have to mix 500 milliliters of milk, 4 eggs, 50 grams of butter, 2 tablespoons of rum, one of these um, vanilla sugar things, all together in the bowl, and then we slowly add in 250 grams of flour. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, not as good. Not as smooth. So basically the crepe batter is supposed to be super thin and watery, so if it's not quite right, just adjust it by adding more water, it needs to be more liquidy, or more flour, it needs to be thicker. And through watching some videos on how to make crepes, they say that if you like pull up the batter and pour it, you get a good judgment on how fluid it is. Um, basically what Hugo and I have judged is that we're just going to try it as this and see how it turns out, and if it's bad, kind of remake it a little bit. Why is it? It's slippery. There's butter on it. No, don't under. Oh. <laughs> okay, so also I just want to say that a lot of recipes say that you should rest the batter like in the fridge overnight. But basically, if you want to be patient and not eat your crepes right away, put it in the fridge and wait overnight, but if you're hungry, just go ahead and cook them because they're probably going to be pretty good anyway. Hey guys, Hugo here. So Kira's the cameraman now, or camera woman, um, and I have the honor of doing the first cut. So let's see. Hopefully it's pretty good. Okay, interesting shape. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like um, a jellyfish. Yeah. So we'll leave that for like 30 seconds, one minute, flip it, and then hopefully everything's good. You kind of want to see it cooking on the top, and that's when you know you can flip it. So the first crepe is typically the worst one, because you know the pan is probably too hot or too cold, still getting at the temperature, uh, but this one looks pretty good. Are you an expert or something? Mm, no. <laughs> hey, you lost a... Mmm. My turn. Second one. We're gonna always look like this. It's a work of art. Thank you. Doesn't matter how it looks, matters how it tastes. It looks like a, a tree. It's like that pancake art, you know, that people do with like the bottles and stuff. I'm an artist. Yeah. 
way too thick. Looks like I made a pancake, not a cup. Closer. So I'm getting better. Send. It got hot. You can just move this. I know, but it got really hot. So I stopped moving. But you didn't stop holding it. No. Dark brown. It's good. Another. And we're live. Cooking with Kiko and Hugo and Kira. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with Hugo and Kira. Three, two, one. Great time. Fun fact, last time we were doing this, I was making a butter and sugar one, and I was using this sugar, daddy, and I poured like a whole spoonful all in like one segment on accident, because it this is bigger than you think it is. It just I think I have it on video. If I do, maybe I'll not instant replay. <laughs> Try not to get them. Ah! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh no! What'd you do, Kira? I didn't account for like how quickly it would come out. I put all the sugar in one corner. That's probably way too much sugar, but nothing that cannot be fixed. Yes. Not instant replay? No, yeah, it's not instant. Instant replays right after it happens. Oh. Not post. Instant. Post replay. And then I think I'm gonna put it on the pan for like a couple seconds to get it nice and warm. While he's doing that, I'm gonna start making mine too. I need to get more Nutella soon. We got this jar of Nutella at one of our favorite German grocery stores, Lidl, and it's 975 grams, so almost a kilo of Nutella. It's like, look, it's as big as Kira's face. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not mine though, I got a big hand, so. <laughs> this is our second jar of Nutella we have. Demolish here. How is it? Very good. The bananas are good too. Eat it up. Sorry, I was eating. I think I'm gonna do a butter and sugar for nice. next. Good choice. I'm putting this on the banana tray. You can get a, yourself a plate. <laughs> no, no, no. That means we have to do more dishes. It comes out flat. I know, don't worry, I don't have the technique. The cap's still on. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea, honestly. Smooth. I honestly think I like butter and sugar ones more now than Nutella. It's good to change it up. Sometimes. Nutella's my go to, but now butter and sugar is my favorite. Are those synonyms? No. Synonyms? Did I not say synonyms? Well, you said synonyms. Synonyms, yeah. Two words mean the same thing. Nutella is your synonym? No, I said like uh, my go to and my favorite. Like, are those not the same thing? Not necessarily. Okay. Your go to is like accessible, but your favorite may be something that you can't have every day. I see. Good point. Also, totally random, but did you guys know that Reese's peanut butter cups are like something you can't really find here? Like, I always thought that like you could find Reese's anywhere in the world. No, you can't. They were in like the small American section of the ocean. So yeah, Reese's are not worldwide. Mm. Ideally, we should be eating this with like forks and knives mm. to be like clean, but we're too lazy to wash. Dishes. And cider. Yeah, true. You would be drinking a glass of cider, but we already drank it. Like two months ago. No, like maybe a month ago. Okay, a month ago. No. It was really good though. Mm-hmm. I think you get the idea. <laughs> We're probably gonna sit here and eat crepes for like a while. Subscribe to see more. Try out these crepes at home. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. And till then, see you next time. <laughs>